Hello Gunpla fans, this is Joe of Joe's Gunpla here with another video, and today I got a package. Um, I've been waiting on this guy for a while, he was out of stock in that big order I made earlier in the year. Um, well actually, I, I guess I had actually ordered two, and I got one already. And now I got the second one finally. Give her, get her all opened up. And there we go. Just about. And da, 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 da. try not to cut too deep. Oops. Oh, doing this one-handed is always fun. Eventually I'll get an actual camera with an actual camera set up and don't have to do it one-handed anymore. Wouldn't that be nice? Like I said, I had already ordered two of these and I only got in one and here we go. One of the original high-grade kits from 08MS Team, the high-grade gym ground type. And this guy's pretty cool. Didn't really get a chance to go over it very much when I opened him up the first time because it was in that big giant order. But, uh, here's the finished kit. It comes with a whole bunch of weapons. That three potted missile launcher, machine gun, beam saber, and the uh, bazooka. The shield. Very cool. And I got that guy, or that set too, a while back. My camera's not focusing. There we go. So, yeah, that's uh, just a little something special today. Um, also, my hobby station is almost done. It looks like a mess. It really does. But, everything's coming along pretty nicely. I went and I added some of this grippy stuff into the bottom of the drawers. Got a couple paint brushes here. Those are all my markers and lining pens and what not. I gotta be careful with that drawer because it likes to pop out sometimes. Can't oh it's so dark over here. Spray paint, top coat, more spray paint. And down here is gonna be this is most of my odds and ends tools. Uh you gosh you can't see a dang thing. Um putties, cements um, mixing cups, gloves, sandpaper. This is all my painting setup stuff. These are my skewers for spray painting. There we go. My airbrush, which hopefully I'll finally be able to use now that I've got a set up in a garage where I can not have to worry too much about fumes. All of my paint, model masters here, testers enamels, thinners, brush cleaners. I have my line of acrylic paints that I use normally. Gosh, you can't see anything. Okay. Those are my acrylics, the clear colors and whatnot. You can barely see it, that's fine. And some fluorescent paint back there. And then on over here. Odds and ends spray paints. We've got these VHSs. I'm going to use them to make a diorama pretty soon. Similar to what um, Joshua Gandamu on YouTube has been doing. He takes these and he uh, I think what he's been doing is he uh, takes off the sticker and then he fills in any text that's on the lid here. This one's actually been, this lid's coming off, but that's alright. Um, and then he spray paints it 
and then he uses it as a like a hangar base and sets up several of them and has a floor and whatnot. So that's a pretty cool idea. Thought I'd give that a try. Um, I'm actually I'm gonna go a few steps further than he does, and I'm actually going to cut off right here, so I have just the face plate. Um, probably cut it down where that where the lid is here, and. I might even try and make use out of the back faceplate too, somehow. Um, and then the innards you can use for like wreckage and debris and whatnot. So we'll see how that goes. And then the rest of this stuff is just little odds and ends. I just need to straighten it out, get rid of the boxes that are empty, and I will finally have my workstation set up. And I will finally be a much happier modeler. So until next time, happy building.